Well, thank you for tuning into Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in His own perfect timing, because His timing is perfect and His timing will also always be perfect. Amen? And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living Word of God that brings salvation to you all if you, if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins, and if you do all that, you'd offer you the best gift for all, which is eternal life of Him forever and ever when you die. Amen? Amen. God is good, friends. Praise God for who He is and for what He has done for us. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, we got a very, very good topic that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about food and, the, and bread. We're going to be talking about that today. We're going to be in the book of John 6, verse 35. So if you have your Bibles, would you flip along to John 6, verse 35? And as you're flipping there, let me open us up in a brief word of prayer to our Heavenly Father who is worthy of our prayers and our praise. Amen? Bow your heads and let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for another day that you've given us to learn about you and to dig into your word. Lord, would you speak to us now by your word? Let this be your words, Lord, not my words. Change us, Lord. We love you, Lord. Help us love you more. Amen. John 6, verse 35. You ready? It says, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. All right, brothers and sisters, what is this talking about? Can we read this one more time? And as we read this, let's meditate on what this means to us, personally. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. What is this talking about? It's, how did this start out? It says, then Jesus declared. Who is Jesus? The King of kings, the Lord of lords, who gave his life up for us. Who died on the cross for our sins. Who took away our, our punishment that we deserved. Then Jesus declared... So Jesus, Jesus is declaring this. That's how it starts out. What is he declaring? I am the bread of life. It's not talking about a piece of bread. It's talking about he is life. Another word for bread is Jesus. Jesus is the bread. Have you ever heard of Jesus' body known as bread when you take communion? Jesus, we're taking the body, which is the bread. Jesus, yeah, Jesus is the bread. So... Then Jesus declared, I'm the bread of life. So he is the bread. He's not like a piece of bread, but he is the, the bread because his body was bruised. I'm the bread of life. And what does he say? Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. If you come to God and don't turn to other things, if you seek God with all of your heart, mind and soul, you come to him, you will never be hungry. You will never be hungry for the latest iPhone, latest gift latest thing because you'll be satisfied in him and that's where God wants you to be satisfied God wants you to be satisfied with him not with the temporary things of this world and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty if you believe in him by faith alone like we always say when we open up each video then you will never be thirsty you will never be thirsty looking for that next greatest thing to fill your vo to fill the void you'll be filled you'll be hungry for him and you'll be and you won't be thirsty you won't be needing that glass of water because you you'll have what you need which is Jesus Christ and Jesus is all that you need and all that you will ever need yeah it's great that we have other things in sword but Jesus is the best thing of all that we can ultimately have if everything were to be stripped away today, I, I would say, for my life personally, Jesus is the best thing I have, so that's fine if everything got stripped away today. So my encouragement for you today is that we can can rely on him and that we can consider that Jesus is the bread of life. And that we won't be hungry for more things, that we'll only be hungry for God and his word. That's my encouragement for you all today. Well, if you never came to God before, I want to give you the chance to come to God right now by, by praying the simple prayer of salvation um, and repenting of your sins. 
Um, this topic that I talked about today might be pretty hard, um, and, and I understand that, if it is hard, but we're going to get you on the first track for this topic to become easier for you to understand. And here's what you do. You pray a simple prayer of faith by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you anymore. You're the only hope I have. I repent of my sins, and I turn to you, Jesus. Amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer today with us for the first time, or we pray this prayer in order to the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, welcome you back into the family of God. The scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for this moment because this is, friends, truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life is by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ and believing in him and, and repenting of your sins. It's the most important decision. Because eternity is coming. Brothers and sisters, whether you believe it or not, eternity is coming. And we can talk more about this in another video. What eternity what eternity is. Um, well, if you just made this decision today for the first time or we committed your life to Christ, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take out on this important decision that you made today. Um, we don't want to mock you. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next and what's important decision that you made today. And most importantly, we just want to be praying for you. Be praying as you continue along this journey and this with the choice that you made today. Well, brothers, can I bless you all? Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all? We can put your hands up to receive the blessing of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that Jesus is the bread of life. And if you come to him, you will never be hungry. And if you believe in him, you will never be thirsty. Brothers and sisters, let's remember this truth today. Let's share this truth. So, that being said, if you were encouraged by this video, would you, and you feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by it, would you please do me a favor and click on that share button and share this video with someone that needs to be blessed by it? Uh, and here needs to just hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Um, if you guys just need prayer or you would like to talk, feel free to reach out. I'm here for you. Have a blessed day, friends, and keep Christ number one. Peace.